Hi, welcome to my channel. We are going to be doing a quick-ish unboxing today. Uh, I have received my June subscription from the houseplant shop. Uh, that is a $12 per month subscription where they send you a houseplant every month. Uh, it is not just a totally random houseplant. You can decide what kind of plants you're interested in. Uh, they have regular houseplants, succulents, pet safe plants, etc., etc. I have a subscription for pet safe houseplants because if you have seen my videos, you have probably seen or heard part of my uh, little menagerie of cats and dogs running around. So, pet safe. Um, and on that note, I do have to say we have had our first casualty of a plant from the houseplant shop. Uh, I think it was um, in April, I received a uh, very attractive looking spider plant. And um, my big cat decided to basically eat all the fronds off of it. Uh, and then the roots apparently decided they were done working too. Um, because they stopped grow drawing up water, the pot got waterlogged, it developed a gnat infestation. So at the moment, it is um, mostly but not completely dead and hanging out on my back porch until I can deal with the gnat situation. Uh, however, this is um, my sixth or seventh box from the houseplant shop. So the fact that there is only one casualty, despite some shipping snafus and some plants that have been mauled by cats and dogs is fabulous. They are certainly hardy and um, prepared to survive lots and lots of drama. So without any more blathering from me, though there probably will be more, I'm going to cut into this box and see what we've got. Okay, so I tried to open it from the wrong end, which hopefully that's not a sign of things to come in this video. But here is my little plant. It came all safely wrapped in paper, which to my surprise has been excellent packing material for plants, despite the fact that one piece of paper would not be expected to provide much padding. Okay, and it also comes with a card describing your plant. Um, and some months you get a freebie. Uh, I've received air plants and some other little odds and ends. This month I received a little uh, leaf pin, which is the cutest little thing ever. Okay, it is the cutest little thing. It is done with a green enamel on a um, gold colored base. Um, yeah, this is super cute. I am totally going to wear this with a couple outfits. Okay, so it looks like this month we have received a cotton candy fern. Uh, it has the light and water requirements. It also tells you common issues and how to address them. And it gives you temperature requirements and it does note that it is pet friendly. So I do like that they include these little care cards every month so that, um, People who don't have a green thumb have an excellent chance of keeping these plants alive. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get into this one. I have not had a fern in a while. Uh, I had a uh, lovely Boston fern that died a terrible, terrible death about a year ago. Uh, and it was not pet related for a change. My pot uh, was a hanging pot and it sprung a leak and... Um, it went downhill from there. Okay, so here is my plant all wrapped in plastic. The dirt is actually really well contained. There are no signs of an impending dirt avalanche. Uh, this is more plastic than it usually comes in, but there was some condensation on the uh, inside of it to keep the fern moist. So I assume that was to uh, give it a little extra water retention. Uh, it is, um, in reasonably good condition, some of the leaves around here have been uh, mushed and a few of them have been broken off. Uh, it looks like it needs a uh, fluffed out and a little water and sunlight. However, water and sunlight can be arranged. I picked up some lovely um, planters on stands and uh, I think this one is going to go right in one of those. So I am going to pot this and, and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, here we are with my fern and it's, we have a guest. Okay, here we are with my fern in its new pot. Um, this pot um, really appealed to me. I like the look of it. It is not an indoor pot. There is actually, Lucy, a drainage hole at the bottom. So there is a saucer I put 
inside of the plant to keep the water and dirt contained. Um, I have had that work pretty well before. However, I will definitely be putting this on a surface where a few drips of water will not be damaging. Um, at least not until I can get them wiped up. Okay, so um, overall I am really happy with the look of this fern. I think it is going to do pretty well um, based on how healthy all my other plants from the houseplant shop have been. So I am really looking forward to seeing um, how well this grows. Lucy. <laughs> so if you want to see how this plant does or what um, my next unboxings from the houseplant shop reveal, go ahead and hit subscribe. Come back and see me. Oh, Lucy. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. You're very cute. Bye. <laughs>